Hey YouTubers, Grimmy Dragon here, and once again it's review time, and uh, as you can tell, I just got these guys. We have the Rainmakers, a Target exclusive that I have been waiting and waiting and waiting to get my hands on. Because, you know, Target's doing their reset, and it took <laughs> them forever to get it out. Which is unfortunate, but true. But they're out. I got it. I'm happy. Let's have a look at what we got here. We got Acid Storm, Ion Storm, and Nova Storm, not Sun Storm. Apparently, they're supposed to be two different characters. Okay. It's Sun Storm to me. I'll leave it at that. But, um, yeah, we got the uh, box here, usual stuff. Clear view of all three of them. Nice big box, too. Much bigger than your standard Voyager. Obviously, it's three of them. On the back, product shots. Very simple. No shots of them with, like, Battle Masters or Micro Masters, which is weird. But, whatever. You know, on the side, we got a nice... Bit of artwork featuring the Rainmakers. Let me just turn these off real quick. And then we'll turn on a black light to show off that it does have a little bit of detail in within, uh, highlighting some um, shine. Uh, very little, just a couple Decepticon symbols, not as much as what you normally see. But anyway, that's enough for the packaging. Let's get these guys out and then we'll see what we have. And now we have our Rainmakers in their Tetra Jet modes. Uh, let's just get him moved out just a smidge. And it is a nice little squadron of Seekers. Very cool. I like the uh, gray accents. Although I'm not too fond of all that uh, grunge on them. <laughs> I'm kind of running low on what to describe it as, but yeah, they are very grungy and uh, dirty. And that's all tampoed on, so <laughs> yeah, it's a shame. And I'm having trouble getting this one to... There we go. Okay, yeah. <laughs> Can be a little tricky getting them in place. But yeah, you got the back with the secret chest plate. Chest plates do stay on very well with these guys. They do not pop off, at least not yet. Of course, I only transformed them once so far. But uh, yeah. It is a very nice looking jet mode for Nova Storm. And Acid Storm. It's been a while since we've seen this guy get a uh, Generations uh, Classics kind of figure. The last one was more of a uh, like a darker green, more of a military green. So I'm quite pleased, and yeah, Ion Storm looks pretty good. So yeah, the jets are. Solid. I mean, I do like this Tetra Jet mode. It's a little a bit. Sorry, it's a bit of a shame that the bottom feels like uh, a block of leg and arm. But what can you do? Still, I'm pleased. I'm happy to have them. But let's do some comparisons because we still have Red Wing. And I have Starscream, of course. He's out of view. Because we got five Voyagers here. See if that helps. Yeah, there we go. Five Voyagers. Yeah, Starscream really sticks out. Red Wing sticks out pretty well, too. I mean, the uh, Rainmakers were more generic in their nature. 
for anybody who's seen G1 or who hasn't. I mean, they were only in one episode, and that was when the Autobots went back to Cybertron to find a piece of Optimus. Well, a replacement part for Optimus. So, yeah. It's nice to see that they're getting figures. Funny that their figures come out before Thundercracker or Skywarp. I can't wait for those guys to come out. I know they're coming. We've seen the previews. So, it'll be nice to have a full Seeker Armada. But in any case, I guess I should get these guys in robot mode again. And, uh, you know, let's continue. So... So here we got him in robot mode, looking quite sharp. <laughs> wow, uh, it's nice to have these guys together. Nice to have the have the Rainmakers and a very G1 accurate set of Rainmakers that turn into Tetra Jets. This is great. And well. They might be a little too G1 accurate, uh, to be honest. I mean, yeah, they are monochrome as it gets. You got just all yellow, all blue, all neon green. And there's not nearly the amount of detail that the other Seekers have. I mean, I like the fact that they painted the wings, uh, like the inside of the wings, gray. And that's on all three of them. They are very uniform in style. Which is great, they are, that's befitting a squadron. But, uh, you know, maybe embellish some paint details, some little vents, uh, like they did with, like, the, well, like the BotCon Rainmakers, where they added uh, different colors to the, Like the arms and legs. I mean, it should have been white instead of like ebony, like, a, you know, pitch black. But, uh, you know, that's just. That's basically based on what Sunstorm's official artwork is. But, you know, again, they're supposed to be different characters, I know. I mean, and Acid Storm, who was the first, you can tell there's a lot of difference. They put camo on him, they really just. Did everything they could to, um, you know, make them stand out a little more. But, uh, you yeah. know. It is still a very nice... I I still like these new guys. Uh, these new Rainmakers. I'm very happy with them. Don't get me wrong. And yes, I know there is a lot of thunder going on outside. But nothing I can do about that. Um, so anyway, yeah, I, articulation wise, it's the same as Starscream, and yeah, there's going to be a card up for transformation, just linking to uh, Starscream's video, but you got a ball jointed head, universal shoulders, bicep swivel, double jointed elbow, there is a uh, wrist rotation, although <laughs> you do run a risk of opening that up instead of rotating the wrist. Um, you know, waist rotation, universal hips, thigh swivel, and nice deep knee bend. So very good. Uh, you also got uh, really good forward backward on the uh, ankles and ankle pivot. So, very poseable guys. And I am pleased with them. Even though he doesn't want to stand. There we go. You know. And for a quick close-up. Get all of them together. Yeah. Very pleasing. I mean, these guys are really cool. And... I would definitely recommend getting the set. Uh, one last comparison before we go. We'll bring back, bring back Starscream. And we'll bring in Red Wing. As well. 
And yeah, it is really cool to have this nice big group of seekers that's going to grow by at least two more. I mean, <laughs> Hasbro is wasting no time in amping up our seeker Amada. And I couldn't be happier with that. So anyway, I do hope you enjoyed this video. Leave a like, leave a comment, subscribe and ring that bell to get notifications. And I will see you in the next video. Take care.